I want to talk to you about how you might think about structuring your research strategy. There are five different areas that are discreetly different that you have to concentrate on if you want to develop a really good research strategy. Five things. Three of these things are, if you like, theoretical, or you've got to put a lot of thinking into them rather than actually doing the research. These are what you need to think about. And then the last two are much more practical and deal with how the research is conducted. Now, the first thing I want to say is that a research strategy is not a laundry list of stuff to do. And that's where a lot of people make a mistake, thinking that I'll just come up with a big list of things that I need to do, and somehow all of this will congeal into a research strategy. But I think that it's much more sophisticated than that. But at the same time, you can structure your ideas so that you have a coherent, logical, integrated and I really mean integrated research plan, and what it really is, is a set of choices, of choices that you need to make. Part number one is this. You need to know where you are going. That sounds very obvious, but you need to write this down, or at least formulate it very, very strongly. What is your vision for your research? What is your vision for the medium term and for the long term? Where are you going to be in five years' time? What are you going to be known for? If I meet you in five years, what are you going to tell me that you did? Formulating this vision is difficult. It's theoretical. You probably feel uncomfortable when you're trying to do this, but it's essential. Because if you don't know the direction in which you want to go, then all directions are equally good, right? So you really need to take the time to figure out where you want to go in the next five to 10 years and what that's going to look like in five to 10 years time. That's number one, your vision. The second one is, what's the area in which you are going to do your research? You need some good reasons for working in a particular area. Is it because Recently, you've been able to publish some really, really nice work in that area, so you want to stay. That's a good reason. Is it because that's what you did in your previous employment? Is it because you see that there's a piece of research that people aren't really paying a lot of attention to, and you think maybe that piece of research, maybe that space would be a really, really good one for me? Whatever the reason, you need to be able to describe where you are going to do your research, what area you're going to do it in. And you need good reasons for being in that area, either because of your skill set, because of an opportunity you see, because of personal interest, whatever. But this is also tied to point number one. And those two are in lockstep with what you are going to do, which brings me on to the third thing in our research strategy. This is the how. How are you going to be successful? How? What is the mechanism? What is your particular, let's just call it unfair advantage? What is the thing that you can do? And how is that going to mean that you do research of the highest quality? So that's another important point. Points one, two, and three, all theoretical, all very different. They're not the same question. They're very, very different. And you need to figure out uh, all the answers to those three parts before you move on. Part number four is infrastructure. And infrastructure is all kinds of things. It's people, it's students, it's um, if you're in the sciences or the engineering field or something that needs a lot of equipment or buildings or technology, then that's what I mean by infrastructure. You need a clear plan on how you are going to get the appropriate infrastructure for your particular research. All the other plans, they won't come to anything if you don't have the means by which you need to do your research. It's very, very likely that if you are in science and engineering, you'll spend a lot of time on this infrastructure. But whatever it means to you, 
you need to think about infrastructure and you need to go and get that infrastructure and you need a plan for how you're going to do that. The last point that I come to is management. And you need to be a very, very good manager in the long term if you want to have a really good research career. You need to make sure that when you want to buy some equipment, it gets done very, very well. When you need to go to a conference, that all of that is taken care of. When you've got people that work in your research group or that work with you, that all of their needs are taken care of. There's no point in having all the infrastructure, having all of the plans, having identified how you're going to be a, a, a really great researcher if you don't get it done, making deadlines, keeping those deadlines, trying to figure out as you go along, am I in the right place? Am I there at the right time? How is this all going? So point number five is about management. This is the template that I use in my own research. These are the kinds of things that I think about when I'm trying to structure my plans. But the important thing to say is that a research strategy is in fact a strategy. It is a way of saying that if I do this, then I expect this outcome. If I get that outcome, then I can do this other thing. And by knitting all of this together into a coherent strategy, you're doing something that really maximizes your likelihood of doing great research. And I say that's very different to the person who just makes a list of stuff to do, of things that you might get, opportunistically getting some equipment or opportunistically taking on a new person in, in the research group without any great structure in how that happens. And what I would like to say to you, my final parting thought is that research strategies are structures, they're templates, they're plans, they're integrated, they're sets of choices that you could make in that universe of choices. And for you, you need to know what they are. And if you do that, and if you do that well, then I really think that you can have a great research career. Thank you for coming. Please like and subscribe.